okay, there's got to be a gene that's running in our family because so many people are dying in their 50s, um, their 60s, 40s. And my mom had a cousin that dropped dead. I think he was 40. My grandpa's heart stopped for the first time in his 30s. Uh, wow. He happened to have just gotten to the hospital because he wasn't feeling well, um, but his heart stopped. He was in his 30s. And so, yeah, just like some pretty extreme things. And so they figured out the heart gene. And so my mom had gotten tested and she was positive, even though she really wasn't having a lot of symptoms and she, she's still doing really well. But that meant that if, if your parent has the gene that there's a potential that you can have it. So we got tested or I got tested and I did come back positive, uh, which I wasn't surprised because the reason I pursued getting tested was because I was having arrhythmias and working as a cardiac nurse for a long time. I actually had bought an Apple watch that does EKGs. So I already knew ahead of time. I started like, when I started to get arrhythmias, I started uh, recording them on my Apple watch. And so I kind of already knew what was going on. And so that was, that was really difficult, especially, I think the most difficult part is when you are trying, you are living a healthy lifestyle and you feel like you're doing everything right. And then you still get hit with health issues. It's very frustrating because you still feel like, okay, what am I doing wrong? What should I be doing different? And with my personality of like deep diving and trying to fix everything, it, it was really hard mentally because I, I just, I was just trying to figure out all the answers. So I found out that was on New Year's Eve and then I went went out to Cleveland Clinic because that's where our whole family goes. Anyone that has the gene goes out there and met with the doctors and they had me wear a heart monitor and immediately, like once they got the results, they were like, you have to go see an electrophysiologist, which that's the doctor you don't want to have to go see. Um, of all the people in my family, I think there is only like one, like I have one uncle that sees him. Like my mom, she never had to see him. She had arrhythmias, but she was okay on medication. Uh, but mine were severe enough that they were like, you have to go see him. So I went to go see him and he was like, you have to have a defibrillator put in. And that was, that was really hard. 